So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go directly into my ServiceNow Express instance. And we'll take a look at the self-service portal. So for those of you familiar with your self-service portal, out of box your provision with get help, get knowledge, get stuff, and check status. You'll see I added a few items additionally that I quickly built out onto mine. We have a news ticker that's out of box, but I also made these new categories, one for facilities and one for HR. And this is really the idea that we're going to be pushing in this concept of the self-service portal and express is that it doesn't have to be limited to IT. You can very well utilize it across the enterprise. So what does that mean in terms of value for you as a business? Well, first of all, it means easy user adoption. If all your end users know exactly what your instance URL is, where they need to go to get help from IT, you can now point them to that identical URL to be putting in requests for facility help or be putting in requests for HR questions. At the same time, there's no additional user adoption required. Your end users don't need to figure out a new UI of a new platform, and all the actual desk users, say your facility administrators, your HR admins who are in your company, they don't need to do implementation of an additional product just for HR or just for facilities, re-uploading all those users, configuring the system so it's relevant to the business. By having it all on a single platform and system of record, as we're going to take a look at here, you not only consolidate your entire enterprise, but you also make the UI and end user experience much simpler and much easier to adopt to. And in terms of implementation, the cost is not 10 hours spread upon, upon three products. It now is going to be, for example, 15 hours on one single platform, so you save time in terms of implementation as well. So let's take let's start with that idea of facilities. You can create your own images and text for whatever is the relevant item for that specific vertical. So facilities, it makes sense to do janitorial cleaning or a temperature change. So let's say maybe I do want a temperature change and you could see you set up these service catalog record producers or items to take in any data you want. In this case, you know, what would I like the temperature set to? Maybe I want 74. What's location affected? I'm in the San Diego office, so I'm going to go ahead and pick my San Diego location. I can simply press order now, and just like that, I've put in this request for that temperature change, and we could see it has its own workflow specific for that facility request. Validation, conducting the facility change until confirmation. So that was more on the concept of workflow. But we also have the question, what if they just want to put in a ticket, a facility-related ticket that's not an incident, not a problem, not a change, not really in our IT sphere, more of a one-off facility request. Well, we could very well do that as well through a record producer. So here, maybe I want to say trash needs removal smell in office. I can pick then variables, once again, that I want my end users to fill out, such as when did this occur? Let's say it just started now. And again, what location was affected? So maybe I'm going to say my San Diego office, let's see what I can bring up here, was affected by this issue. And I can then submit that instead. And you'll see that it actually created, and the reason I can see this record is I'm in as an administrator right now, but you could have your end users, as with incidents, simply directed over uh, and brought back to the service catalog. But we'll see that it's actually a facilities record now in my system that was opened up, trash needs removal, smell in office. I have the location automatically populated from what my user selected. And we can see it's FCL. It's its own facility record. And the reason why it's so important to have your own records is it's now going to be very easy to go across the enterprise and have your facility users, for example, only interfacing with maybe a facility application that you built, as I did here. We could see I can look for open facility issues. I could click here and there's, you know, I could see all my facility issues. There's the one trash needs removal, smell in office. I could then view maybe a dashboard of all the kind of facility requests I have. And maybe I want to see a facility schedule cleaning. I could see here's a cleaning for the shed on a calendar view. So keep in mind, this is all the functionality that you're used to from IT, but now relevant to the other lines of the business. 
So let's head back to that self-service portal and continue along towards the concept of the knowledge base. Or before we do that, let's touch on HR as well and some sample ideas of how we could integrate HR into service catalog. So there's a few key items that commonly comes up uh, when I hear users asking for an HR relevant request. The first is the ability just to put in, you know, a human resource request. You could see you could build these out for inquiry, update, complaint. You know, maybe I just want to do an inquiry for myself here in the system. I'll put my user in. What's my issue? I have 2015 benefits questions, and I'm going to say go ahead and submit that. So you'll see that now I've created an administration task that's actually for HR now. Only my H user, AR users are going to be assigned to this and are going to be able to see these HR administration records. And this was just another example that goes along the fact that the same principle of having a record producer in your catalog creating that relevant record for that department, so in this case an HR administration record, and then automatically having that in the system. So we can also do it's sort of an employee response. I've heard a lot of HR departments say they do employee reviews, and they want to easily be able to track, you know, which employee has been doing a good job, who's been receiving kudos. Well, why don't you easily just put in an item for employee responses and reviews? You know, I could say, was this related to a task? So maybe I know I've been working on a printer integration lately, and this user, the IT user, he was on my team, and he did a great job. So I'm going to pick this printer uh, integration task I have in the system. I'll say this is positive feedback against my IT user who's on my team. And I'm going to say great team player. Always was helpful. So this is just another idea and example of how with this ServiceNow platform, you can drive value across your business. So for HR, you know, taking in responses against users, and I'll go ahead and submit this, and we'll see that now I created a review record, positive response, you know, against my ITIL user. So I'll go back in the system here. And now let me bring to life now for HR. You know, you can make your own HR application, see all those open HR admin tasks, you know, what's my 2015 benefits questions, but then easily view another overview dashboard. And then let's tie that back into the fact that I was submitting these performance reviews. I could now see as an HR user exactly all the employees, you know, what kind of response have they been getting. Joe employee here, you know, 60% positive but 40% negative. Maybe this is something I need to follow up with Joe employee on. And these reports all being part of the ServiceNow platform, you could drill down into them. So these two negative responses, why don't I click right into that? I could see, you know, didn't carry workload used vulgar language. So these, keep in mind, are just examples of ways that you can take this single self-service portal, a nice and easy way for your end users to be submitting records and interfacing with your business. I'm sure you're familiar with the concept that your end users could have emailed in a ticket and created a ticket for IT. But keep in mind that you can just as easily set up all your other departments with their own sub-addresses so that when I email these requests in, it's not going to create an incident record. It's going to create, if I email to HR, an admin record. It's going to create, when I email to facilities, a facilities record.